I'm going to work harder than anybody else. I'm going to keep working, bro. I just ate. I was tired. I was about to lay down. I got work tomorrow. I'm like, I do videos tomorrow. <laughs> For y'all niggas, we all 700 or wh how many, whoever and whenever and how many ever watch this or these, because these, this is just the third or fourth video I'm making tonight. I'm going to make like 30, 20, 20, 30 more videos tonight. I appreciate y'all. If you like the if you like the video, if you comment on the video, you do whatever, man, I'm going to keep making these shits because you know why? The grind don't stop, man. Like, I know this shit is going to pay off. Niggas be telling me, niggas be in the barbershop telling me, flip aim on this, flip aim about that. Man, shut the fuck up. Ain't it so sad what we do for entertainment? Yeah, I know is, that boy be we were, uh, back in the day, wasn't it just dream like team and them. gossip on reality TV shows? Like, ooh, she tried to That's take, ooh, oh, she did that, and she was talking to him behind my back. And like, but this that is what was, this is as well. This no, this is like an extreme version. I, 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 no, 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 no. We have now graduated to physical confrontation, yeah, yeah. and there, it's Yo, not even like there's a conflict. I was off topic at the beginning of this video, but let's get back on topic. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm sick and tired of seeing shit about these two individuals. I feel as though, before I even watch what they about to say, I feel like this this shit has been dragged out. I feel personally, I'm not in a relationship, but I feel like for mental and um for the sake of their well being, I think it'd be better off for them to split apart. But you know, niggas gonna do what they gonna do. It has nothing to do with me. But for this shit to hit social media like it is, and for it to be considered entertainment, I think it's it's Setting a bad tone and, and and leaving a bad taste for the for the in the mouths paws of the youth, because niggas is gonna see this shit and think it's cool, bro. This shit is not that shit is not it. Entertainment entertainment purposes or whatever else, this shit is not it. Point blank, period. But that's just how I feel. You feel me? Uh, at the end of the day, they are grown, consenting adults. They're gonna do what they want to do. But yeah consequence for it like how many times have we seen these two swing on each other yes, on camera swing on each other seeing the, the ramifications yeah, of niggas swing, know, bro, swinging on each other yo Do remember you know I remember i think it was just, just recently because this is this video is old just recently it was uh him, him and chris brown got into it and they violated chris about his, his situation he was in and it wasn't really that much different like i ain't gonna say him and Rhea was just fighting all the time but it was just a situation where she hit him he had back and it was an altercation and you feel me? Uh, he was wrong. He admitted that. They are friends now. That shit is long in the past. I hate to bring him up because niggas always bring him up with anything domestic happens. And I think that's sick, my nigga. But unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? They tried to get him out of here and, and tarnish his, his reputation and career. Uh, which I think to a degree was kind of to be expected. Like, unfortunate. Like, when, when a woman hits you, bro, you kind of got to, like, just get away. Like. I know it's not easy unless they're coming at you with a blunt object. I'm a firm believer. If a woman is coming at you with a gun, a knife, a bat, something crazy to where she can really hurt you or harm you, my nigga, you are all right to defend yourself. If she hits you, my nigga, and it's not something like like immediate, like you driving or some shit, bro, get out of there. Like if you walking or you're in a club or some shit, or you're just out in the street or you're just in the house, nigga, leave the house, leave the club, leave the, you know what I'm saying? Just dip, cause at the end of the day, it's not gonna it's not gonna be favorable towards. Dudes, regardless if you're in the right, you're in the wrong, whatever. It's just not going to be favorable towards you. Now, I'm not saying realistically, if somebody hits you, sometimes people just react. And niggas got, and women and, and men in general, whoever, like, y'all need to understand, bro. People are going to react. You cannot tell somebody how to react. Like, you can pluck somebody and if they slap the shit out of you, you can't be mad that they slap the shit out of you. Like, you can't tell somebody how they should or shouldn't react. That's not realistic. I have him off camera and nobody seems uh, I just went on a little rant. No, no one, no one. Wake up. Oh, it's no funny. Uh, yep, Krishana entertaining. Yep. Beat him in the back of the head with a fucking bottle. Hennessy again. bottle. Uh, I'm getting my glass out. You can't just rub it like that. I'm not rubbing it. I'm getting it out. Let's just move on. He should have went to the day. hospital, my nigga. Having a couple chuckles about it. So, uh, you know, you do the exercise where, like, you Shorty got hit, you know, dragged, or whatever, bro. Both both of them, both but parties. Then I be seeing Blueface also do crazy stuff, too, and I'm like, yeah. But it's not, it doesn't matter. It's not, it's, it don't, but I be like, damn. But I will say this, man. They, Blueface and Krishan Rock, most toxic <laughs> relationship I've ever seen. Not most. Come on. <laughs> the niggas stole the drag. Hey, the Bleach music on the back of that? Yo, shut the fuck up.
Yeah. Niggas threw the bleach music on the background. Church started was on OnlyFans first. Yeah. And he created that. And then in that, how he met Krishan is that she was a part of that. She was a part of that, of that shit, yeah. And Krishan, massive athlete. People don't know this, man. It's a great athlete. Massive? Had a potential. At least people think that. He's very pretty. He's dig a little bit more deep into her past, their trouble past. Uh, her father in and out of her life. She was actually homeless at nine. Crazy. So when they got together, man, it was only a matter of time before things got a little outrageous, man. So she's then, athlete. as they got wow. together, she's on the show. She gives into these back and forth of her baby mom. Driving up, ba- baby, e. face's baby mom. Yeah, that's oh, man, it. toxic, man, yeah. toxic. So I told, I told him, we're not doing that. We're not doing the hugging on the You're not touching nobody, none of that. Right? Right? You did that. Don't touch nobody. If you had a production, you had a show, right? That's what you claim. Well, you don't touch nobody. Drives up the rating, man. Just drive that motherfucker up. Blueface like, man. Blue face, baby. You want to get this money? Signs it to a deal. And then from that moment on, it gets like so progressively worse. So first, bro, Wack 100 was like, bro, you're done. I'm, I'm packing you up, bro. You are you are out of here. You ain't really on this shit no more. Yeah, he was. He was I said this nigga talked on the phone. I forgot. This nigga was a fucking rap star or some shit. Like it's an like, entertainer. You ain't really on this like full fledged. He dropped you a week ago. Two weeks ago. Oh, oh. He dropped you. Nigga talking about this. Oh, shit. Niggas had the cops. What's this? What's this? He did. And you explain to her that I'm about to rock and say, I don't want to do business with you. You're free to go. Where is show me, your yeah, show me, Jeremy, show me. You're not man. her man, is that right? right? You're not her man. No, nope, no, nope. I managed uh, Pussy Fang manager her. She wouldn't leave the blue face house, bro. Mm. She's like, I'm not leaving, I'm here, I'm signed. He was like, no, you're not, bro. She, uh, she got she left. But you know, she can shine. She started selling crack on the side, and then came back, stole this nigga blue face car, and gave it to her mom. Her, you t- what the fuck? I told her you loved her. Does that ever make it okay to steal somebody's car? And drive it across the country to give it to their mom. That alone, I just want to pause. I want Yo, everybody what the to pause. This, bro? Stop for a second. Nah, that I ain't know all this. Is insanity. This is wild. For you to leave a game show or a, or a reality show, and you immediately say, "Hey, man, I need to go sell crack." She got caught doing it too. Got I know, it? I, and yeah, her. <laughs> she got. She was doing it in the G wagon. She yeah, stole. yes. Now this is where things get aggressive. This is where the physicality comes into play. Now, I, I personally, I don't know how <coughs> he keeps getting like tied back to her because at that point, that should have been it. Like in my opinion, like I mean, like I was told, okay, you selling car, you selling crack, you done. Yo, you should really be in jail right now. All right, just be she was so, wigging, bro. You should just be straight in jail. But Blueface, I don't know if he loves the toxicity. He believes that she. Brian about to watch all this how, shit. How <laughs> connected she is, but at that point, I think he probably made a mistake because they just been getting physical back and forth. There's videos of them like outside getting to physical altercation. Videos of um, Blueface inside his house saying, "Bro, you hitting me?" <laughs> Yo, up and- I live, but that's not. First of all, the, the, the video, the picture on the left, this nigga looks nuts. The picture on the right, this nigga is fucked up. You feel me? This nigga is fucked up. I look like this, and I'm still hanging with ah ah. I'm out, my nigga. Two black eyes is crazy. It's crazy, bro. Regardless of who incited the fight, bro, get out of that, my nigga. Y'all niggas is crazy. For entertainment purposes, don't tell me you really love nothing. Niggas that really love you ain't doing shit. And look. Da, 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 da. Um, it, it, it escalated without a doubt when um they were pulling each other hair and Blueface got hit over the head with a Hennessy bottle. I'm getting my glass out. Hennessy bottle is crazy, bro. Y'all know how destructive. I'm getting it out. Look, you gotta lay it all out on here. I'm He's get tight right now, nigga. And at first they were like, "Oh, it's all right, like it's cool." But he's what? Like, they're blacking out. They had to call the ambulance. It's actually pretty, pretty crazy, insane, actually. I mean, it hasn't got better since, man. It hasn't nah, bro. Since. It hasn't, man. It's, These niggas like is a complete violent, bro. disregard between the both of them for like anything that's not just like unadulterated. Yo, you know what's crazy too? For them to be doing this shit in this climate, you feel me? In such a PR-based climate, bro. For them to be doing shit like this and getting away with it, like nobody going to jail, crazy, like. Niggas not being canceled, bro. They are literally back and forth. This is what I'm saying, bro. That, <laughs> never mind. 
played it just <clears> niggas get canceled for anything. Yeah. And like, and I, I can't even like when someone t- like now the definition of toxic has changed, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You used to be like you could just gaslight someone a couple times. Mm-hmm. Or you toxic, genuine, or just like tell white lies, and that's slightly toxic. But they have taken the definition of toxic to such a brand new level. This woman has tattooed this nigga's face like five times all over her body Word. from her fucking pelvis. That says Jonathan's. Yeah. Yeah, that's so why. So we all know right, come on, her right, neck nigga. to all, really all around her body. Yeah, I wonder what happens she when she like wakes up and realizes like, yo, I was wild. locked in like these. She even though winning them for sure. Every three months, this nigga's putting out a tweet saying he's packing her up and then they end up getting back together. And every week, there's some new news story about a new physical altercation. Whether it was like uh, Blueface interacting with her dad and Blueface told her dad to his face like, oh, you taught her to hit men like that? Or something like that. You taught her to be physical yeah. like that? You could argue she had a horrible upbringing. You could argue argue a lot of this shit is rooted in trauma from her childhood and shit like that and all of that could be true all of that yes. does not excuse you immediately being the evil that you saw growing up because there's a certain level of growth you just have to go through and it's difficult in this part of life and who knows like what that looks like for her but like that's not an excuse for you to smack niggas in the back of the head with a bottle it just isn't i think what's getting worse is that like it's spilling beyond just them two so again right. the salmon situation then she came she came over here and threw a chair in a wall and Kai is like, yo, what's going on? And looked at Blue Face and Blue Face was like, time to work. Yeah, because this, nah, this video was crazy. Whoa, my bad, Chad. Whoa. You put a hole in my wall. You rich. You can fix it. This nigga just looking, bro. God, you just put a hole in my wall. Look at that right there. That's a video game. This nigga talk about it. Yo, when I seen this video, I reacted to this. When I seen this video, bro, I said, yo, these niggas is tripping, bro. These niggas is tripping. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh. This bitch lie. Nah, oh, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. My fault, my fault. I'm wildin'. Oh, shit. Yo, nah, she not that, my nigga. My fault. My fault, my fault, my fault. Don't care. I'm wildin'. I'm wildin'. Chill, 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 chill. My fault. What game? Grand Theft Auto? It's, it's, it's a custom game. Yeah, he's tight. I'll be tight, too. <laughs> he's like, he's laughing. Why do you do that to Takai Airbnb? Like Airbnb? Airbnb, this is my house. <laughs> the fuck if I have a billion dollars or two dollars, nigga? You put a hole in my wall, I'm gonna be equally upset. It is what it it's is. What, like, it's the way it is, it's man. What it is. Nigga said, why you do that to Airbnb? She, she crazy, man. <laughs> and, and through all of this, like, of course, both of them take responsibility for it, but it's not equal. Like, it's, though, she is. Yes, nigga, fuck it being equal, man. These niggas are wild, bro. Fucked up plenty. No, 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 but do they take responsibility? No, 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 no they don't, but they should. Okay, what I'm trying okay, to say. Okay, okay, okay. Ads on YouTube must be yeah, yeah, so bro, annoying. Bro, 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 bro. Y'all pissing me you off. Yeah. An How you gonna have an ad on top of the ad? Step. She off that Hennessy, man. You know, this was. Yo, when I seen this, I thought this was crazy. This is wild. She threw the. broke the TV. This bitch strong as shit. Oh, right yo. Now, she, just, my fault, my fault, my fault. Like, like She's add, wild strong, add, add, Just to add even more to it, bro. She pregnant. She's saying it's his. He's saying And he's it's saying she been his. with 10 and niggas. on top of that, I saw a clip of her bragging about uh, three different abortions he didn't have previously. Like, the way she said it was, yeah. like, borderline, like, sociopathic. She's like, yeah, I just killed him. I have a baby. I'm keeping it this time. Jesus. Bro, she's not in I the killed, like, three of them. Okay, Krishan, wait. What? I'm ready now. She don't even realize. You know, you always have that bad feeling like, mm, it's not right. It's not the right time. Mm-hmm. You think it's the right time now? Mentally, I don't I even wouldn't think. mind. If but it was do you right think now. it's the right time? Yeah. You think it's the right time? No, I need a ring, but you're right. All right. I swear. Yeah, I th- mentally, mind, bro. Like, mentally, she- mentally, mentally. She is, she, is, she is off. Both of them are off, but mentally, she is. She's done, bro. She's she's wild. Like it just didn't matter to her. We and he's in like it. encouraging. The internet is encouraged, right, and, and she's encouraging. Okay, so there's, exactly. there's, so, there's, there's so many things to take away. All right, first, yes, they're they're toxic. It's a relationship that shouldn't really exist, and it's so fascinating how this stuff unfolds on the internet. And genuinely, I don't think any anybody cares anymore. No, oh. like it's just like it's entertainment at this point, my nigga. From two individuals, and it's just like, what's next? Like y'all just, y'all just ask for what's next. So, but also like, look, it's kind of like when you're when you're listening to music and you're like, damn, it's just one archetype of artist. Like especially in rap, like each male artist is this way and each female artist is this way. 
Well, that's because that's what sells the best. So, you know, when you want to commercialize a product, regardless of what it is, it could literally be a human could be the thing you're trying to commercialize. So you want to do the thing that sells the best. So everyone just ends up being the kind of the same. But this is the craziest part. This is like, I feel like the craziest shit to like indulge in or like, like push out as far as like entertainment. You feel me? This shit is nothing. This is definitely destructive. This is, there's no positive, like positive outcome from the shit that's going on with this. And on that note, you feel me? I ain't gonna say too much after that, but man, I don't really want to see too much of this. I don't really speak too much more of this, bro. I just hope that both of them niggas seek out the help that they deserve and they find happy happiness and uh humility because this ain't it, Patch. This shit ain't it, man. That's all I'm gonna say.